Hello everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to the 1.7.10 mod pack for Minecraft. Now, as you see, I've done a bunch of work, got uh, a full roof built out now with solar completely covering it, and uh, still not putting out a ton of power. And you see I did get a laser drill in place. Now I'm going to put a second laser drill down um, this episode, hopefully, if I have time just to show you guys how to do it but you see right now you know how the laser drill works of course is you have your laser drill and then you can use up to four laser drill pre-chargers around the outside now I've got the pre-chargers and everything made and ready to go however I just don't have uh, don't have near enough power anyway starting to get dark let's take a quick nap and we'll start the day fresh now this episode I wanted to mainly focus on applied energistics as there has been just so many changes to the mod over what we're used to I definitely want to uh, focus on that mainly however I am going to take a quick minute to get this other laser drill laid down real fast just to show you guys that don't know how to do it how to do it so basically I picked the spot over here I dug up one block out because that's where I'm going to put the drill and I've got three pre-chargers on the outside. Now I'm going to put a fourth pre-charger in. But for the meantime, I just wanted to get things started. Now to start off, you're going to have to dig straight down until you get the bedrock. Now if, you know, of course I have flight through uh, the Magical Crops armor. If you don't have some sort of flight yet, you're going to have to go too wide so you can nerd pull yourself back up out of there. But anyway, let's go ahead and head on down. I want to get all the way to bedrock. Hopefully I don't run through any lava or water in the process. Got a long ways to go yet. I'm at, uh, what, layer 44 here. Not even concerned with uh, what I'm picking up here. Hopefully I don't run across any uranium. I don't want to actually mine any of that yet since I don't have any sort of protection getting close A little dirt and there we are there's bedrock so let me go ahead and get out of the hole now now it's important you have a hole all the way down to bedrock is that's just how uh, how the laser drill works. Now, let's see, we're going to go ahead and just plop down one little block of dirt there where we're going to have the laser drill placed. And then we've got the drill itself. Now, uh, I told everyone the reason I was waiting is I was waiting for glowstone. Of course, we need uh, glowstone to craft the pre-chargers. And we need glowstone to craft the laser drills themselves. So that was the uh, the holdup there on the weight. So let's go ahead and pop that laser drill down. And now we need to dig out that block that we just put underneath it. And we'll see the laser drill is working. Or not working, but capable of working. As we see that beam pointed down. Let's go ahead and fill this hole in. And at this point, all we need to do is get some power over. Since this um, this one is already lined up, I'm just going to go ahead and bring the power down right to it. There we go. And then pop some sort of chest or holding container. And away we go. We see it's at work. So this uh, laser drill is now drilling. This one has been not up for too long, and that's what I've gotten so far. I haven't uh, pulled anything at all out of the chest. Anyway, without further ado, let's get moving on to equivalent exchange. As uh, there's been massive changes to this, and from what it seems like, the uh, quartz cutting knife may, may no longer be uh, something we really need. Go ahead and pop that pre-charger down too, just because I can. And let's see. 
All right, to get our ME network started, of course we knew we needed an inscriber. Now I went and found two other meteors and got the, uh, the inscriber patterns I need. However, we do need something to inscribe. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to start off with a controller. The reason being is I plan on going way larger than the eight particular channels that we'll need. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just start off with a controller right out of the gates. And of course, to make an ME controller, we need pure flux crystal, sky stone block, which we uh, we have already. We just had to run through a furnace. We got that from the meteor itself, and then an engineering processor. Now the engineering processor is why we needed to get the inscriber engineering press. That along with a diamond is going to get us a printed engineering circuit, which in turn with a redstone and printed silicone will get us an engineering processor. Now, printed silicone is going to be very important, so it's important that we get another machine laid down that's not part of applied energistics, just because that's what we need to work, and that is the sag mill. The sag mill from Ender IO. Let's go ahead and pop that bad boy down just right here. What the sag mill is going to do is we're going to throw sand in it, and it eventually is going to produce some silicon. There we go. And uh, it will only produce, it seems like the machine will only produce one at a time. It won't stack the silicon down here, which is fine. All right, now we got our silicon figured out. We've got these flux crystals. You got pure flux crystals. We've got the charged Certus Quartz Crystal, which we mined up. And we've got regular Certus Quartz Crystals, which we mined up as turn. Nether Quartz, of course, from the Nether. And now from the Laser Drill. But you start off by making some Fluix Crystals. That's uh, the basis of the whole thing. So let me show you how you do that, which is a little different. Now, if you look at the recipe on how to make a Fluix Crystal... It'll tell you here, drop one charged Certus Quartz, one Nether Quartz, and wood, one Redstone Dust into a puddle next to one another, and wait a moment to receive two Flux Crystals. It is exactly what it sounds. So what do we need? We need Redstone. We need charged Certus Crystals. What else was it? Whoop. Nether Quartz, derp. So charged, Nether Quartz, and Redstone. We're going to come over here and just throw those in, in the water. So those guys are in, and they instantly will turn to Flux Crystals. Now each time you do this, you get two. So let's uh, do it again. Voila, we got two more. Now, all right, we need pure flux crystals. Now, how do you make a pure flux crystal, you say? Wrong recipe once more. Here we go. Drop a fluix seed made from fluix dust and sand into a puddle of water. Uh, to make the process faster, add crystal growth accelerators. Now, this, this part of the process is very, very slow. And uh, it takes a long time. So eventually, you're definitely going to want to put the accelerators in. I, of course, do not have them, so I'm having to wait it out. But to get your... Get on through there now. I put that in the wrong place, huh? Won't let me jump through the window anymore. All right, we're going to come over to the pulverizer. And this Flux Crystals we just made, we're going to pulverize a couple of those guys. You see, that's going to get us Flux Dust. All right, so there's our dust and our sand. And I think that was it, wasn't it? Dust and sand. Now, the fluke seed is what we're looking for. Yeah, that's it, just dust and sand. Right there on your crafting table. Where's our dust? We got the fluke's dust. 
And that gives us 10 Fluix Crystals. Now, luckily, we can throw all 10 of these in right now. And we don't have to uh, do it one at a time, or that would be extremely painful. So we're going to throw all 10 of those in, and we're just going to let them sit, because it takes forever without having the accelerators in place. Now, another really important milestone that I've hit on this playthrough is I got enough Ender Pearls to make Ender Seeds. Ender Seeds, of course, I needed four of them, which uh, took a little while. But eventually, it got the four, which in turn gives us an ender crop. So now I have uh, basically unlimited supply of ender pearls. And then also went on and got the skeletons and the creepers going for the bones and the gunpowder. So that'll be really nice as well. It basically gives me, uh, gives me a way to start really exploring all of these mods to get things fully squared away. Now, all right, we're going to let those guys soak in the water. Is it actually starting to get dark again on me? Yes, it is. I guess I'll head on down, take a quick nap, start the day fresh once more, and we'll get into the next... the next part of Applied Energistics. Now, let's get back to... Oh, ME Controller, how we're going to make that. All right, the pure Fluix crystals, we've got those guys cooking up right now in the water. The Skystone block, which is just Skystone thrown into a furnace, which we've already got. And then the engineering processor, and this is really the only thing we have left out of the bunch. So the engineering processor is going to require us using an inscriber with a printed engineering circuit, a redstone, and a printed silicon. Now, how do we get this printed engineering circuit? Well, there's the Inscriber Engineering Press that we uh, had to go meteor hunting to find. And a diamond gives you a printed engineering circuit. Printed silicon, same thing. Inscriber Silicon Press, the silicon will give you a printed silicon. So basically, what all that means is it's time to lay down the Inscriber. Now, the Inscriber can pretty easily be made with one Fluix Crystal. You don't need to use the pure, you can use a regular. Five iron ingots and two sticky pistons are going to get you the inscriber. Let's go ahead and take a nap now that it is dark, and I'll show you how this bad boy works. All right, so let's get back up top. Now the inscriber is going to require some power. So I'm going to just drop it down right here, and it can suck right off of there. And then, okay, first things first, let's get the the silicon pressed. Which one is that? Engineering logic. There it is. Silicon, and then I know we're going to need the engineering press as well. Let's go ahead and throw the inscriber silicon press up there. Throw our silicon in. Just one at a time, but away it goes. And I've got another one already. So pretty quick on the silicon. No, uh, no problem getting those things knocked out very quickly there. All right. Now we also needed... I need some diamonds, huh? Where did diamonds at... There we go. If we throw the inscriber silicon, or that press is already there, in with a diamond. We go ahead and pop out a few of these too, as that's going to get us our printed engineering circuit. All right, now that we've got our printed engineering circuit, we can go, so we've got to get rid of this one. We can go with a printed engineering circuit there, a printed silicone there, and a redstone. And there we go, engineering processor. So let me free up a couple of bag spaces here, and we'll go ahead and get our controller built. 
That should do it for right now. And I think I now have everything to make this bad boy. Did I get... Or I never got my Skystone out of the furnace, did I? There we go. Skystone blocks. Yep, I do, I do. So let's go with the Skystone blocks around the corner. Then we need... Some purers. Inner engineering processor in the middle. And there we go. Our very first part of our ME network is born. The main thing now is that we have the ME controller built. Where did it go? I must have thrown it. Oh, nope, there it is. It looks so different now. This is what the ME controller itself is going to look like, so nowhere near the same. Now it will light up with a bunch of wonderful colors once we get uh, everything all dialed in. But the tough part of the battle is done. So I'm going to go ahead and call it good there. But there is a start of how to get things going in Applied Energistics. Let me uh, dump one thing and I'll go down and show you what I mean by slow. on these guys here. Let's take a look at them. 2%. They've only made they've only made it 2% of the way. So they need to go back in the pool. Very very slow process when you don't have the accelerators in the mix. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks again for watching. Click that like button, please subscribe to the channel. And we'll be back soon with some Minecraft, the 1.7.10 mod pack from the Technic Launcher. Thanks again.